Hey guys, I'm back. I was just going to kind of show you guys uh, the assembly on this one. I went ahead and took that little rain boot thing off of the sheet here from this sheet here and I'm just going to do that. I did the 3D thing. I added the little dimensionals and now I'm getting ready to glue these little twines up to the card. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Go away. Don't start. So we're just going to put some of this Tombow stuff. This stuff here. You can get this. I have it um, through Amazon. There's a link below. Um, you can also probably find it at Michael's most of the time and um, through Stampin' Up. But, of course, those places aren't really open. So probably um, Amazon would be the best option at this point. And so I'm just gluing these the twine and I had added the twine before I did the 3d rain boot and the rain boot the way that I did the 3d I had shown you earlier in the other clip this is kind of part two of the video but basically I taken some of these guys these call these dimensionals and added them to the back so that's how I did that and then I just kind of glued this down a little bit and then on this side um, we're just going to go ahead and put a, I had pre-done a little bow. So that's just going to go there at the end. Just kind of like that. And I'll probably clip this off. And just glue it all down at the same time. And you just kind of play with however you think that the bow should be. Maybe like this. Whatever you think you should do with it. But first, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. And a little goes a long way with this Tombow stuff. This is awesome. Again, that's Tombow Mono Liquid Glue Multi. And then on the, um, just so that you're, in case you're not familiar with it, it also has, sorry, some string there. It also has this kind of glue on the other end. So you can do it different ways. And then there's that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and glue the bow. So I just put a little dot of glue there. And I'm going to just go ahead and just pop it right there on there. Let it glue, let it kind of glue down. And we're good there. so there's that and then once that kind of dries out dries down a little bit um, I'm going to take one of these little tags and of course you can create your own obviously and you can create your own card but this is part of the kit this came in this so it just came off of this here and then of course I had shown you earlier there's these round ones but you would put this on here but first you want to probably stamp it with whatever um, whatever sentiment you want and um, then you would go ahead and um, put it on there and I'll probably 3d this as well I don't know yet but haven't decided so let me um, get the stamper hold on so in one of the previous um, pump it the the pumpkin I actually got this and it's actually one of the celebrations I think a year or two ago that I got this um, but of course you can use any stamp block I just prefer to keep this in my bag and what I like to do is when I go to club I'll put it into this little makeup bag I'll put my markers in there uh, my extra crafters glue tape I you can get this on Amazon as well and this is just really good um, crafters tape um, glue kind of like dot glue so that's that works really well if you're not using this um, Tombow uh, but anyway I put all that into this little uh, makeup bag that my husband had given me it was actually <laughs> from his um, workforce stuff that he's ordered in the past but I really liked it so he went ahead and gave it to me and he ordered himself some but um anyway point being um, I like to keep things kind of in order and it's just the way that I kind of work because otherwise it's just kind of everywhere and scattered. 
Um, so now I just need to decide what I want to go ahead and say and if I want to go ahead and do like a circle or the or this one and I had already decided I wanted to go ahead and use this one here so uh, let's see I wonder if this one fits it I think just based on my thoughts right now and how everything is going I'm going to go ahead and use this one and send it off to a family member. But I'm going to go with wishing you brighter days ahead. And we're going to go ahead and put it there. We're going to go ahead and stamp it. And like I've said in the past, I like to stamp it this way. Some people stamp it. They push it down. I just prefer to do it this way just because sometimes... You can get too much on, on the stand. So I'm going to go ahead and just set it down on the blue thing here. Just kind of line it up a little bit. I'm going to put it just slightly to the side though. Just because the tag, the way it's going to be sitting on the card itself. And then you just push down. And use pressure, but probably don't rock it too much because then it just kind of gets all yucky so this is perfect this is what I wanted and it just says wishing you brighter days and then I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it here I don't think I'm gonna do 3d let me see what do you guys think think I should set it flat or do you think I should do some 3d stuff on it I don't hear you guys All right, I hear some of you saying 3D. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go with 3D on this as well. Um, it should be fine. And then the, the dimensionals, in case you guys aren't familiar, they just have little stickies on two ends. So um, the sticky on this part just got peeled off. And then now I'm just going to place it here. And I think that's pretty good right there so we're gonna have that and pretty much if you want you're pretty much done with that if you want to put more stuff on it go for it maybe you want to go ahead and put some of those cute little embellishments I had shown you in part one of this video like these little teardrops maybe you want to put some you know kind of just scattered here and there uh, maybe you want to put a little flower on the side whatever you want to do it's up to you or just leave it plain like this. This is the way I think the kit told me to do it. No, it looks like they do have some little raindrops on it, according to this here. I don't know if you can see that. So I might do that. I don't know. Let me see. I didn't know we had raindrops on the stamps. Let's see. Let's see if I find some raindrops. This can't be all the embellishments on there. That would be too many embellishments. Okay, I think that's what they did. I think they used this throughout the card to make it look like rain and then maybe a few of these little embellishments. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, then we'll be done with this card. So I'm just going to switch this out. And then I, you guys, obviously, if you've never used stamps before, you want to make sure that you clean up your stamp before you just put it away. Um, um, because this is a quick one, I don't have out my little, um, my, my little chamois thing. So I'm just going to use a wipe. I, it's from this, this Pampers thing. I've shown you guys in previous Dollar Tree hauls that I've gotten this. I keep this in my bag at all times and it's just my scrapbooking bag. One day we'll get, we'll go ahead and get together and we'll show each other. I'll show you each other. <laughs> I'll show you the bag and what I've got in it. But basically I keep these in my scrapbooking bag at all times. Because I do have club most of the time. And then also, even when I don't have club, I know that I can just grab that bag and start a little project of stamping up or stamping stuff. So, all right. So that's clean. That can go back into this, it's into its little spot. And then we'll go ahead and grab the raindrops and um, stamp that. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, so I did add the raindrops. Not really thrilled with the way they turned out, but you know, whatever. There's the little raindrop embellishment that I used. I don't know if you can see that or not. 
And then you just got all the little other raindrops just made, obviously, with the this thing, the stamp pad, and then um, the little raindrop uh, stamps. So that's how I created this, and this is ready to go. I don't think I'm going to do anything else with it. I think we're good to go. Maybe a little heart here. Haven't decided yet, but um, if I decide to go ahead and do a little heart, I would um, be able to use one of these little guys here. There's three options. There's a slightly larger one or a smaller one. You could even do a little flower. So there's several options as far as maybe a little embellishment right here or a stamp of some sort right there. But really, honestly, you could probably just leave this all alone and you would be fine. I might add a few more raindrops, but I might just leave it alone. Haven't decided. I might put some right here maybe. Probably right here I'll add some more. And then just what I did, just so that it wouldn't look so like perfect, because obviously rain isn't perfect, I kind of off-centered some off to the pa off the side of the page so that it wouldn't look like exactly like the other stamp, um, you know, that I've got throughout. So that's the other thing is just kind of keep that in mind too, just kind of make it less uniform, less perfect, because obviously your rain's not going to be <laughs> exactly perfect. But there's that, guys. That's the card. And then, obviously, um, the kit does have this one that's really super cute and this one here. Not really a fan of this one, so I'm actually going to probably do something completely different with that card. And um, if I get a chance, I'll go ahead and show you all three cards that I created. Uh, but this one's definitely going to be a little different. I, I don't think I'm going to keep it the way that that one is, but... That's just me. If you guys like it, go for it. You can do whatever you want with these cards. And obviously, you could create this yourself using stamps. Um, this just happens to be a kit. And I do change things up. I don't always do the exact same thing with these kits like I've said in the past. So anyway, I'm done here. I will go ahead and uh, post this along with the part one. Make sure you check out part one because in part one I did tell you a little bit more about this pumpkin, uh, paper pumpkin, and I showed you pretty much all that the kit entails as well as um, additional ideas that you can do with these cards. So talk to you guys soon. Again, take care. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see more of this channel. And I'd love to make more friends. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye-bye.